All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode three. Now, in the last episode, John Walker, he met Sam and Bucky. They don't like him. They don't like him at all. Obviously, it's because he's replacing Steve and nobody can replace Steve. We also met somebody else named Isaiah, a very important character. So when Cap was frozen in the ice, they had Isaiah, they turned him into a super, made him do Captain America type of missions because he was now a super soldier and everything. But then as soon as they didn't need him anymore, they just, they kicked him to the curb. They threw him in jail. They experimented on him it's like it's fucked up but that just led into sam's point later on in the episode when bucky was like why did you give up the shield and sam said i don't think you or steve will ever understand why and it's because he doesn't feel like he could be captain america with all the racism in america and i don't think sam even wants to be the next captain america i think he wants to be the first sam wilson he wants to be the first falcon you know i think that's also his that's also his idea too but then bucky also said he's gonna hit up zemo right and zemo is the villain the villain from Civil War who basically divided the Avengers from each other who's basically his mission was to divide the Avengers he knows he can't beat them by himself there's no way but he can divide them from within so that was his plan in Civil War and it, it, it really worked it actually worked so yeah we're gonna go reach out for him for help so I'm really curious to see how that's gonna go so I'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of Falcon the Winter Soldier will also be available on Patreon and you do membership click the join button down below so anyways let's get started reset restore rebuild <laughs> the GRC logo on the van my name is John Walker hey stop you're harboring a dangerous criminal named Carly Morgan saw do you know her shit we know she came through here now where'd she go do you know who I am oh oh yeah he doesn't like being disrespected Yes, I do, and I don't care. Damn, Steve never would have tripped like that. John Walker's a bit insecure. I know you want this. I get it. But we've literally tried everything we can here. So is Langley. So we bet on someone who's got a better hand. What, are they going after Zemo too? That'd be funny. Bucky and Sam already got him first, though. Javoy. Ah, uh, it's not working. Those days are over. I know. I just wanted to see how the new you reacts to the old words. It was never personal. You were simply a means to a necessary end. Someone recreated the super soldier serum. I need to find out who. I know where to begin. Yeah, does he or is he, does he just want out? Just gonna lie and be like, yeah, I know, I know how to help you guys, but you gotta get me out of here first because they're desperate, so. Watch, he's gonna agree to help him so he can get his hands on the super soldier serum, you know? Because he looked, he looked kind of surprised when he told him they recreated it. He's like, they what? Look, let me just walk you through a hypothetical. Can I walk you through a hypothetical? What did you do? I didn't do anything. You already did it, huh? Who knows? There could be many reasons. <laughs> he will kill you tonight. Kill him first. God damn a buggy. But the point is, these things escalate. Black man procedures would have to be initiated with all those bodies flying around left and right. Bro, just because two people in front of me starts fighting doesn't mean I'm gonna start fighting the dude to my right or to my left. Like, I've never, that doesn't make any sense in any fucking movie whenever that happens, but unless I had beef with them already, I'm like, oh, now I can beat their ass. Someone could use the chaos to their advantage. Bro, a guard would recognize his face. He's probably the most high profile prisoner they have. I mean, I get the guards are distracted, they're on a hurry. But like still, they know Zemo. I don't like how casual you're being about this. It's unnatural. Where are we, man? Where we're supposed to meet Zemo. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. You don't make a move without our permission. There. Okay, Zemo. Where do we start? He's definitely gonna screw us over. First chance he gets. Maybe not first chance, but he definitely will at some point. So all this time you've been rich? I'm the Baron, son. My family was royalty until your friends destroyed my country. Ooh, sorry. Ultron started it. Just kidding. You must have really looked up to Steve, huh? But I realized something when I met him. Zemo. They become symbols, icons, and then we start to forget about their flaws. Yeah. From there, cities fly, innocent people die, movements are formed, wars are fought. As a young soldier sent to Germany to stop a mad icon. Do we want to live in a world full of people like the Red Skull? That is why we're going to Madripoor. James. You will have to become someone you claim is gone. 
Hey, Zemo's gonna slowly try and pull him back into being the Winter Soldier. Oh, what is this? I mean, it's Madripoor, but I'd say it looks crazy. If we have to do something about this, I'm the only one who looks like a pimp. <laughs> only an American would assume a fashion-forward black man looks like a pimp. You look exactly like the man you're supposed to be playing. Trump. Sophisticated, charming African rake named Conrad Mack. That was a cool shot of all them walking right there. His plan's changed. We have business to do with Selby. The usual? What the fuck? The fuck is the usual? What? What? Oh, bro, you're gonna make a drink out of a snake? Uh, bro, are you serious? I really, uh, he has to drink it. Mm. <laughs> that hesitation could have given him away. Dude, th this bartender is not buying it, bro. He knows that's not him. You ain't welcome here. Tell that to my buddy, the Winter Soldier. He needs so good. Oh my god, Buggy's just fucking everyone up. <laughs> god damn. Didn't take much for him to fall back into form. Yeah, bro, everyone here has a gun. At least, Nesseldad. Silva will see you now. You good? Nice slow mo. <laughs> Dude, they do look good. Like they all they're all fitted really nicely. Especially Zumo's fucking fur coat. <laughs> People don't just come into my bar and make demand. An offer. I'm sure you've already figured out what I'm here for. Tell us what you know about the super soldier serum. And I give you him. Along with the code words to control him, of course. He will do anything you want. I mean obviously it's not really gonna give him over. The soldier serum is here in Madripoor. Dr. Wilfred Nagel is the man you want to thank or condemn. Is Nagel still in Madripoor? Probably not. And before you get all cute, don't think you can find Nagel without me. All right, so now we gotta go find him. Do not answer that. Do not answer that. Answer mm. it. Fuck. On speaker. Ah, oh, fuck. That it's gonna give him away immediately. I mean, bro, he did put his phone on silent, but the vibration's still pretty loud in this room. What situation exactly are you talking about? What situation, Sarah? Say it. The damn boat. And watch your tone, okay? I let you slide at the bank. Yeah, the bank. Yeah. Uh, uh, so much money. <laughs> he, he has to stay character. You're out, big time. Yeah, you damn right, I'm big time. You'll see. When I have that banker killed. Sorry, let, let me call she you. She didn't react to that. Sam, Sam fuck. Kill them. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, you can't blame Sarah for that. She had no idea what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, but everyone's gonna try and kill him, though. I can't run in these heels! Bro, if Cameron Diaz can, so can you. <laughs> Drop it, Zemo. Who the fuck? Sharon? Sharon? Who the fuck is this? The super soldier serum and Zemo had a lead. Well, that explains why you guys are here and Selby's dead. So what are you doing here? I stole Steve's shield, remember? Mm. My own father doesn't know where I am. Listen, Sharon, we need your help. Is this Peggy's daughter or granddaughter? I think it, I think, I think. Because Steve met her in Winter Soldier when Peggy was dying on her deathbed. I think this is her, I think. Let me, let me look it up, make sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, Sam did mention her in the last episode, and me, Steve, and Sharon was on the run and stuff, so, like, he was talking about her. Just didn't really remember her. And then she said she's still on the run, too. <laughs> like, Sam's good, Cap was good, but no, nah, she's still on the run. That's crazy. Foot back in the States. Madripoor doesn't allow extradition. Look, I'm sorry I didn't call. Yeah, bro, you just totally forgot about her. Mm. But after the blip and the chaos, I just... Look, you know the... I mean, yeah, I don't think... Thanos, Thanos kind of happened, so I guess he got distracted. I mean, the way you gave up that shield deep down, you must know it's all hypocrisy. He knows, and not so deep down. By the way, how is the new cap? Don't get me started. 
Please. He's a nerd. <laughs> they cleared the bionic staring machine, and he killed almost everybody he's met. I don't trust Charity. All right, a deal then. You help us out, and I get your name cleared. Sam, you can't even get a paycheck for saving the world multiple times. How are you going to get her name cleared? Hey, Sharon, you sure this is the right one? It's completely empty. Positive, it has to be. So what, is there like a secret thing somewhere? Like a secret doorway? Watch it be Walter White. That would be a crazy twist. Not even Walter White the character, just the actor. Oh, I forget his name right now. That'd be a great cameo. Dr. Nagel? Who are you? What do you want? We know you created the super soldier serum. We know who he is, right? Come conversation with real quick. How about a counter proposal? What? Make me a better offer and I'll talk. How about I not fucking kill you? Bro, this is who Kick Ash thinks he is. Because <laughs> he has the baton too. He has two. Ooh. Okay. Oh, rear triangle. Let's fucking go in an arm bar. Damn. Or I'd be doing that in Jiu Jitsu. I was brought into Hydra's Winter Soldier program to pick up their work after Goshi called and asked if I could help someone named Donya Madani. Poor woman has tuberculosis. Mm, uh, the girl she was saying goodbye to earlier. <laughs> Damn, Sharon's raw, dude. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Dude, the choreography they're having her do, though, too, is really nice. Like, the hand-to-hand -hand stuff, it feels real. It actually feels realistic. It, it feels like she's actually really that good at it, you know? Well, the stunt double, too, but, like... Her character, what I mean. Guys, we're seriously out of time here. What the fuck? What did you do? Ooh. He can't create any more serum just in you know, after we leave. He can't continue his work, I guess. I guess that's why he did it. Fuck, do you save all this work though? Or do you just leave it? Zemo, he dipped. Oh no, Zemo has a plan, dude. He has a plan. He didn't dip on us. He's gonna save us. I like the mask. Ooh, yeah. I'm guessing that's like his mask from the comics or something. He didn't dip. He just got a head start. Oh! That's brutal. Supercharged. You're going back to jail. Do you want to find Carly or not? Bro, I just saved you guys. What are you? And there's two of us and at least 20 of them. Come on. Yeah, there's at least 20 super soldiers now. Just get me that part and you promised me. Oh, no. Bye, Sharon. I liked her. I wish she would have stayed. You're not going to move your seat up, are you? No. <laughs> We've got a big problem. Actually, a couple of them. I'll tell you in the car. Let's go. Taking some time for more? Like, we don't have to do this right now. Yes, we do. We got put out on the street. I knew that it was the only place that had something that I could use to protect us. Do you remember how scared we were when we took the serum? But it was worth it. Because this world is ours. And we're going to use all of our strength to give it to the kids in those camps. So she wants to save and protect the kids. Our broke is going to catch up with us eventually, right? That's not a problem. Nagel was killed in Mandrapur. Damn, she already heard about that? We've got the last of the serum. The power broker is about to come begging. Yep. Sam and Bucky were here on the same day this happened. Correct. Anything to do with them getting out, do you? Thank you. You seriously think Sam and Bucky would have broken a guy like Zemo out of prison? That's exactly what I think they did. They were just as desperate for leads as we were. You know, damn well, we can't accuse them of something like that without That's why you and I are just going to run with this one for a minute. Ooh, they're going to go get Zemo and try and bust Sam and Bucky for breaking Zemo out. If we get the job done, do you really think they're going to sweat us on the how? He'd rather beg for forgiveness and ask for permission, I guess. Well, upside down, we need a new cap, and 
It ain't gonna be Walker, so before you go and destroy it, I'm gonna take it for him myself. You've had six months' worth of supplies just sat there in that building. Don't you understand? We're fighting for our lives. Yeah, her motivation is not true evil. It's she's trying to help out her people and they're trying to survive. So. Put your seatbelt on. Essentially, she's doing a good thing from her no. perspective. Or from. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! There was still people in there. This is the only language these people understand. Damn, Carly. Okay, that, yeah, that's fucked up. She's trying to get her message out. Okay, like her motives aren't evil, but what she's willing to do like that, it's pretty evil, so. You dropped something. I was wondering when you were gonna show up. Oh! I'm here for Zemo. Oh, shit, I didn't fucking realize. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a great way to introduce them back. Shit. And yeah, it makes sense to be after Zemo. Alright, so that was Falcon the Winter Soldier episode 3. Pretty solid episode so far. I really like Sharon. Sharon was a great character in this. It was nice to see her back, even though I didn't really remember her right away. But when I did remember her, it was nice to see her. So. Yeah, okay, I didn't realize she never got her name cleared. So she's been on the run this entire time. Except for the last five years, obviously. But like, still. That sucks. I don't know. Can Sam actually clear her name? Can he keep that promise? I'm not sure. I don't know. But at the end right there, somebody from Wakanda showed up. I forget her name. I apologize for that. But she is there, obviously, because she heard that Zemo is out. And Zemo obviously killed T'Challa's father and framed Bucky for it. And so, obviously, they want revenge. They probably are going to try and kill Zemo. Now, shitty thing is, Bucky was in Wakanda for a while. They took him in. They took care of him. You know, they helped him out a ton. But in this situation, Bucky needs Zemo. So, he's going to have to be like, look, guys, I can't hand him over to you. You guys helped me out so much. I can't. And that's going to cause a huge feud because, like, bro, we did so much for you. And you're just gonna fuck us like that i don't know maybe when they're done bucky will be like all right here you can have him he's all yours now when he doesn't need zemo anymore i'm not sure zemo will probably just get away in the end or whatever and then he's not gonna be cool with wakanda anymore after that so but yeah so the power broker is gonna show up in the next episode because the one scientist is dead now and so he's gonna be desperate for more serum from carly so carly's gonna have him like this and then john walker also realized that sam and bucky broke out zemo so he's gonna go track them down and he's just gonna be in our fucking way and it's, he's gonna be annoying i feel like because he wants to show everyone i'm captain fucking america you know he seems a bit insecure to be honest like he like in the very beginning you know he's like do you know who i am or something like that it's like nobody takes him seriously so he's gonna try and force everyone to take him seriously and i feel like he's gonna become a bigger problem as the show goes on but anyways that was episode three of falcon and the winter soldier comment down below if you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching